So this is lovely. People are still moving in. They'll stop soon because we haven't been uh, zoning too much. In fact, there's a little bit of a residential demand again. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do then is I'm going to continue. These like waterfront roads. We'll have it like kind of dead end that way. And then, um, yeah, from here. Something like that. It's quite a long drive for these people, but it might not be so bad. I'm trying to figure out, like, what kind of connection I want to provide them as maybe a secondary or faster way to get over here. So you can extend the downtown to the other side over here and then put a connection from here to there. That might not be too bad. I mean, we're going to get... Well, we're not going to get horrible gridlock here because it's low density. There's never going to be enough cars here for the this lackadaisical kind of road structure to cause any kind of problem. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, if you have to choose an expansion, just choose this one. Natural Disasters is honestly not that interesting to me. I've got the Disasters turned on here. Uh, because, you know, it's very entertaining for, for Twitch. Uh, but um, in my own play, I tend to turn it off because I don't find it that exciting. Don't worry about the crime. It's all part of Thieves' Guild. Mm -hmm. Gonna have traffic nightmares with growth. Yeah, the idea is to not grow this area too, too much. But most likely, there'll be something. In fact, what might happen... And the reason I don't want to build up over here is I can sort of see this highway maybe ending up coming through here and this way. And then it's not too bad because we can get people to use the highway a little bit more. Put a little T-junction. A T-junction, say, here and over here. And a couple of different ways in and out of this. But I don't I don't ever want it to be too big. I love how this is called Crescent Park and it kind of is a crescent. Although I'm probably going to like expand it a little bit uh, very soon. So money's coming in really, really, really well. People are still coming to town, which is great. What's new DLC all about? Well, the new DLC is all about, well, mass transit. So they add more mass transit. Monorails, blimps, that sort of thing. Uh, the big thing for me, though, is probably the stuff that's included in the free patch. Um, like, the, there's some nice handy-dandy stuff with the road building tools um, that display things. There's um, the new traffic management um, layer is great. You go into this mode. And you like click on a road segment and you can see all the cars going through it right as well as the type so here we're seeing a lot of industrial traffic and if we click on a specific vehicle we get an exact route as to where they're going so you get a lot more traffic analysis stuff than before you also get the ability to tune junctions so for example uh here there's no there's no signs at all it's completely uncontrolled which is crazy i can add traffic lights this is built into the game you used to have to do stuff like this with mods so now there's a traffic light here or maybe I just want to have a stop sign coming in on this particular branch. So these guys have priority, and you have this. You can also, when you click on a road segment, Boomtown! Transport, ferry, bus, tram, taxi, or cycle. All right, we'll get back to you. Um, when we select on a road, so this is this whole thing is considered to be one road, although we can split it and adjust it. So this, this whole section has one name. You can make it a priority road, which will default things uh, in terms of traffic lights. Uh, not traffic lights, stop signs, I think. Um, something like that. But yeah, so a lot more road control. And all that stuff, that stuff is included in the free patch, which is kind of amazing. Only real transit should be by blimp. Well, that's what it's going to be in our town. Only problem is the blimp landings are very loud. They're also very big, and they're not particularly high density, so we'll see. All right, well, we've got a little bit more demand for a few things coming in. I think I'm going to expand... Well, here's the thing. If I expand the industrial area a little bit more, I'm a little concerned about um, our road access. One of the things I might want to do, even though I still want to stay keep like dirt road over here, I think I'll, I'll do the paved road into it. Um, and then the question comes, what does the expansion look like? I can grow it a little bit over here, and it wouldn't be too bad. Gravel roads. Alright, if we were to... I wonder if I can do it in some way that doesn't ruin the industry there. Yeah. They already exist. We're going to build around them. Although this one here, I think, 
is indeed going to get removed. Um, there we go, kind of like that. Zone more industry and expand the district. So the district tool does snap to the road as you drag, although it's very easy to go a little too far and then it doesn't, but if you do it right, it looks looks a little better. Okay, we can get rid of that power connection. In a second, we'll be able to get rid of this. I don't think we can get rid of it yet, but if another building pops up over here, we'll be able to, and then we can fix our zoning. There we go. Um, probably something like that. Nice crooked water pipes. I like that. Love it. Alright, so... Burr? Power? Ooh, power! Okay. Oh, alright. So we've got the... We've got the advanced wind turbines now, which means we can actually... Get power over here. There you go. Nice clean power there. Alright, we definitely need more residential. So, let's sort this out. How big was this? Looks like about three. So we're going to extend the downtown. Do I want to go and work on the highway now? We've got the money. We've got the things unlocked. All right, it's probably fine. Let's pause. Let's bulldoze this. And so, you know, this this is a, a, a municipality on the rise. And they've made demands that the highway be improved over here. But not in a way that ruins the feel of the town, which is going to be the tricky part. So, what I want to do is... Actually, whoa. Cancel a sec. So, this is our highway expansion plan, I think. We're going to have... Oh, that is, like, so massive. I think something like over here. What I think I'm going to do is actually... I'm going to buy this plot here. This tile. So that I've got a little bit more room to work with. And yeah, I think I'm going to do the T-junction somewhere over here. And then I think we're going to have another one over here. The question is, are we going to do that right now? Again, I want to avoid this area feeling too gargantuan. It's way too big for the town. Well, I know it is. And that, the problem is there's always that sense of scale in, like, all the city builders, right? Like, in reality, the buildings here would be, like, a tenth this size from this aerial view. Well, let's, let's start with this and then see what we think. Too bad that's curved. I'm just wasting my... Well, I'm not wasting money here. Trying to make it a little bit more... Ah! Trying to avoid... That... Excessive bendiness! Arr, it's got a little kink in the road! Okay, I, got, I gotta stop. I have to stop! It's driving me bonkers, though. We're gonna leave it for now, we'll come back. Fine. Shut up. Do I have the move it tool? No, but yeah, that is really good. Okay, so... What I don't want to have is a six-lane road coming through here. I mean, we could upgrade it to an avenue, but I don't think that's going to be required. Hmm... 
How do we preserve a still relatively small look? How do we get these guys? Roundabout. Highway into a roundabout. Yeah, maybe, huh? Here? I think that could work. And we can make actual roundabouts now. People have screamed for it forever, and it's always been the case that, like, yeah, they don't... In real life, roundabouts are literally... Okay, my little tool's not being particularly helpful here. Um, in real life, roundabouts are the greatest thing in the universe. Um, but in Skylines, they weren't. Okay, we gotta start... I'm gonna redo this. Because we need more room. Well, I guess I could roundabout over here, maybe. So you could come in here, branch out that way, branch out over there. Maybe a roundabout kind of position. The problem is the roundabouts have to be relatively large. Maybe not as large as I was doing it. So that's about a half. And a half. Not exactly uh, straight or circular, but you know, it's fine. Where would be right in the middle? I guess there would be right in the middle. Could turn off snapping maybe to make this a little easier, but what if we did something like that? I mean, I suppose we could have these connect directly to the roundabout, but I think this will be okay. Let's run with this to test. Um, we need to use our traffic tool. Okay, so the roundabout's priority. There's stop coming in, in, in. Roundabout can flow with her. This roundabout's going the wrong way. There you go. So you turn right onto here. With uh, no left turn, stop, go in there. So anyone leaving the roundabout can do it without any stops whatsoever, which is great. Traffic looking to come in may have to stop for a second. Now, they won't use both lanes of the roundabout, right? Shouldn't have any stop signs at all? Yeah, you know what? You're probably right. We can probably make do without any whatsoever. Alright, well, let's hit play and see how bad this gets. I'm a little concerned that with it being so small and right at the entrance of our city, there might be too many backups at some of the intersection bits. One way into roundabout are good. I don't think that would make any difference here. I mean, that I guess it'd be two lanes coming in. Oh, would they maybe use both lanes to turn into it? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> What's the main game you play? Uh, no, I don't really have a main game. Do you do a lot of builders, base builders, city builders? Mostly, probably more strategy games, grand strategy games, Civ, Europa Universalis, that sort of thing. Well, it's working for now. I suspect there's going to be a redo. But yeah, so the idea is we need more a residential zone. So... Maybe what I can do here... And yeah, this is super low. It's all super low density. But what if we... Ran a road to here... I think I'm going to want to extend the commercial district out that way.
Is that a penis? I hope not. It's okay, we'll add some more stuff over here and it'll, it'll make it look less penis-like. There we go. Everything's fine. Shut up. It's fine. Alright. Is it still 440, the ideal spacing? Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. It's a weird penis gun. Oh, yeah! It's got the, um... The, um... Hammer. A sex pistol. Hey! Good reference. So, we're going to have some more commercial shops up in here. And I'm also a big fan of, like, getting the occasional little corner store or something in some of these areas. You know. We need some more power! I did reset the budgets, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. Let me double check. Yeah, we're all good. Okay. Excellent. We need a lot more industry. But now we can expand over here. Um, and I think make like a more for serious industrial zone. I might leave this one here. Like this. Dirt roads and everything. I mean, the thing is, cities don't tend to dramatically redesign too many things all that often. So we can make a more sort of, now that the city's growing bigger, like a little bit more of a formal industrial park. You know, a little bit more grid-like. I think I'm still going to do lumbering, though. What do we think? Poop Lake is filling up. Yep, there it goes. What do we think about that? No, I know they're not using the inner lane. And maybe with more, like, one-way roads coming in that would and, and coming out would be a better way to, to filter that, but it's fine. We finally got a roundabout, you guys. Be excited. But yeah, I think in particular the industrial zone needs a little bit more of a dedicated thing. Because Well, as long as we don't grow this any bigger. As, with our current size, I think what we've got will handle the capacity. As long as we don't add more stuff here. Okay. So it's going to be important for our next industrial zone to have its own feeder and be done a little bit more right. Can you name the lakes? I mean, I guess I could make a little district on each lake. I guess you could just plop down a sign, you know? Uh, when are you going to stream Steel Division Normandy 44? I don't know if I'm going to plan on streaming it. I am, well, I'm going to be recording it right after this stream, though. Um, I've already started working on it, but I actually had a technical issue with the recording, so I have to do the first mission over again. <sighs> because computers are stupid. And they suck, and I hate them. Except for the fact that they give you internets and video games. Other than that, though, computers are stupid and sucky. I think there's some services I never put down. Yeah, I was going to say, we've been able to put down graveyards for a while. Um, I feel like near the residential zone makes sense, because most graveyards are... Meteorologists have issued a severe... Oh, frack sake! ...for the area. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. Oh no, Tornado! <laughs> A tornado of doom! It's a good thing I built a graveyard! Seek shelter immediately if any is available. Oh my god, it's scooping up the vehicles! Oh no, the humanity! Oh, oh no! Oh! Now stay away from the garbage dump! Stay away from the garbage dump! Game hates your roundabout. <laughs> oh my god, it's doing so much damage. Flying yeah, flying car is confirmed. That's what that's what the the real uh secret feature in uh um mass transit is. Stop hitting the road! Just go kill some trees! Nobody likes trees anyway. They're stupid. That's a long-ass tornado. 
Alright, well, um, so how do you fix this? With the upgrade tool, right? Do you need to use the appropriate road for it, or... Okay, repair cost, repair cost, repair cost. Okay, so it doesn't matter what road tool you've got selected. This will just repair it. Okay, good, 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 good. There should be, like, a repair all button. Are you still going? Jesus Christ! What do you have against highways? I got shit to do, man. Come on. Watch him turn around and re-smash the bits that I've just repaired. Oh, thank goodness. So, uh, what's the report here? Citizens lost. One. Roads destroyed. Three kilometers of roads have been have been ruined. I can't believe only one person died. I guess all those trucks were empty? I don't know. So yeah, if we built up this area anymore, there would be a huge, massive problem with um, capacity. But as long as we don't, it's going to be fine. And it stays looking kind of quaint. I like it. So, we need, we need more industry. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a T-junction down right over here. So, you know all those road segments I just repaired? Ah, ha, ha. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Good old government waste. Um, I guess I should maybe use a slight curve. It's still not going to be quite right. Now that's pretty close. That's oh, pretty close. So this is going to be a nice high capacity road for this new industrial park. I suppose, actually, they could be, uh... Oh. I wonder if we can make it work. Probably. Or no, I bet you can't. Uh, if I... I don't know. Spend some money. No. Okay. Well, poop. That's fine. So we'll go in to some amount like that. What big was that? Four? There we are. I know it's only industrial, but I'm still going to leave a bit of a gap here. Do, 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 do. 